Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel again. This is Johnny. Today's video is going to continue the setup for self-host virtual browser that runs in the dock, Neko. This is a GitHub project. Previous video, we already created a Docker running Neko project and which can provide in nice, beautiful browser interface to let you surf in the internet, which is great for the lab testing. I was able to run it in a one gig RAM, one virtual CPU, and the minimum resolution 1024, multiple 576 resolution is working very well. In this lab, I'm gonna run it in my Portainer Docker, and also I'm gonna use in Neko this subdomain to access to it. As I showed it before, I already configured Bitwarden Portainer to use HTTPS, and Jinx was running as a reverse proxy, and the third board gonna help to get the certificate and modify engine configuration. I'm gonna do the same trying to use in Nanjinx as a reverse proxy and enable HTTPS. We're gonna make a configuration copy to Neko dot conf and then we're gonna modify the settings here to make sure this is neco and the port will be 8080 we're gonna remove those HTTPS settings since we're going to use insert board to get that and configure it again. This is SSH session to our host machine sent over seven. So we already have Docker installed. We have three Docker's, Bitwarden, Nginx, and Portainer. Since Docker Composer is not here, and we can run Cat Dog Composer. That's our previous one, Dog Composer. We can easily remove the previous settings, and uh, we're going to get our Docker here. Okay, now we should have Docker Composer. So now we have our Docker Composer version. 1.25.4 has been installed here. So, next step, gonna get Docker Compose the YML file. Change the resolution.
port is 8080 and the UDP port has opened. Perfect. Let's see, now we have to put the uh, We have to put the full directory name here to get the Docker Compose to run. Okay, let's take a look if it's darker is running. Okay, Neko is running on port 880. Let's get public IP using curl command. Please make sure your cloud provider opened port 8080 and also those UDP port has been opened as well. So now it, it is working now uh, after you configure your firewall to allow a port 8080 and we can try to log in at the main NECO, that's the default password. Then you will hear the peeping, peeping sound and all seems fine. You can request control, then you can go to YouTube side. That has been done in my previous lab. In this lab, we're going to do a little bit more we have configured the NACO subdomain. We're going to use it. I only have three containers. I removed the one which I'm not using. Um, Bitwarden, so I removed that one. And we're going to configure Nginx here. We're going to go into Nginx. Command line. Check the CPU utilization and the memory utilization here. It's fine right now. We're gonna go to so we already have our configuration file for engine set it up, but it won't work because HTTPS is not enabled yet. It will automatically transfer to HTTPS, so we're gonna use insert bot to do that. So third bot found three names, three basically three configuration for this Nginx website. Um, so we are running on Neko. 
dot fifty one sec dot org here and they will verify the subdomain is pointing to this IP. Once they verify that they want you to choose do you want to redirect or no redirect? I will choose no direct. So it's a very simple command, one command and you get the certificate and enable the configuration on NGINX HTTPS configuration. So we can check that again. Bam. Now we're gonna try Neko. Yeah, it's working as expected. You're gonna use an admin account to log in. You're gonna use in password Neko. So now we have our own domain Neko configured in our Docker system. This is a self-hosted virtual browse running in your own VPS virtual private server and uh, you can launch it through HTTPS and then from there let's check the IP request control what is my IP That's your public IP. You are using your VPS public IP to go into internet to do browsing. That's pretty much everything for today's video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.